Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 8th, 2020. Well, my goodness, we had quite an interesting night last night. As a matter of fact, I did an e-learning session for members of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Rightway Options, where I said, <laughs> you know, it really probably didn't do us much good to do a market review last night because everything could change by this morning. That has certainly been the case. Luckily, it changed for the better, not for the worse. If you didn't hear the news last night, um, obviously, um, Iran fired missiles at um, bases, Iraqi air bases that house U.S. Uh, soldiers in um, an attempted retaliation. Um, and the good news is, um, overall, the good news is no lives were lost um, and the market um, has calmed down. The president came out last night uh, with a very calming statement saying all is well, um, also reminding everyone that we are prepared and, um, and matter of fact, I think he said very prepared to act if necessary in this situation. So. Um, the markets have initially the Dow futures dropped 400 points and then slowly started to come back. And now this morning we're looking at a morning that could be a flat to slightly bullish open this morning. So jitters have been calmed, at least for the moment. But let's think about this really carefully, um, everyone. This should be a very sobering reminder of just how quickly a single news report on geopolitical events like this can create tremendous volatility, completely reverse the market. And everyone needs to think carefully about that and plan their risk accordingly. Obviously, the tensions between the two countries right now are very high. It wouldn't take much to set off a firestorm of more volatility here in the market. So keep that in mind. Plan your risk very carefully and don't just rush all in thinking, hey, it's all clear. It may be all clear for the moment, but we're just one news report away from that volatility re-emerging and creating some ugliness in your account. Now, at the same time, I want to remind everyone that we always, um, it's natural, um, we always think of ourselves first, how this, how this is affecting us, how this is affecting our money in the market. But I want to remind everyone to please take the time, imagine the kind of pressure that our troops are under over there, having been fired on last night. They, they are obviously on very high alert. And imagine the pressure, the tensions, the worries, the concern that their loved ones, their family, their parents must be feeling this morning. Yes, with this going on, there can be some financial impacts to us as individual traders. We risk some money, they risk their lives in protecting us. Let's remember them um, and um, set aside a little bit of selfishness here and remember that what we risk is not nearly as important as what they risk um, in this situation. So keep them in mind, keep them in your thoughts and prayers as um, these tensions continue to percolate over there. So with that, let's take a look at the markets and take a look at what we have going on. Now, the good news is yesterday, even though we closed down, you know, 100 points in the Dow, we really didn't give up much of anything at all. Our trend continues to remain intact or trend holding up. And the fact that we've been able to rally back overnight, one point um, overnight, we were looking to open all the way down here. But this morning, it looks like we're going to open with a relatively flat open. Could be just slightly bullish. Right now, Dow futures are actually turning a little bit lower. We're now down 30 points in the Dow futures. So just a little bit of back and forth. We're kind of bouncing around that flat area open here for the market. So let's watch that pretty closely. But trends are holding up. 
And that's what we need to see. Hopefully cooler heads will prevail in this situation. Tensions will start to diminish and the market can get back a little bit to its normal bullish thinking that we've been in here um, of late. Keep in mind that um, any thing is possible we want to always pay attention to those news reports that could shift and change anything very very quickly so plan your trades accordingly and make sure that you're sized correctly that you have a prepared plan to protect yourself before you enter trades all right something i echo all of the time with folks in right way options to make sure I apologize that popped up to make sure that um, you are protecting yourself in this market. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY also holding up. It did a good job yesterday. The bulls held up in here. Everything is holding on. We're holding on to price supports in here. And this morning we're looking at maybe just a slightly bullish, uh, very slightly bullish open this morning at this moment. Um, as we wait um, for that market to open, but maybe just a slightly, ever so slightly bullish open uh, this morning ahead of some earnings reports and economic data. So right now, pretty good situation here. Bulls remain in control, trend remains bullish. Although these tensions could create some additional selling, we'll wanna watch that pretty carefully. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also holding up very, very well. As a matter of fact, came very, very close close to perking out or poking out to new record highs yesterday just couldn't quite get it done came really really close they've been pushing really hard on some of those big tech um, stocks and just haven't quite been able to to push that out now this morning um, as I speak right now, NASDAQ futures are looking for a just an ever so slightly bullish open this morning just trying to poke up there really hard. I think we're this close, it would be um, a surprise to be honestly, if they don't get that new high. There just seemed to be a relentless push to get new record highs right now um, in the market. And it's these tensions that really have everyone wondering where we go from here. But let's watch that close. We've held support, we've held trend all as well right now in um, these three indexes. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, a little bit different situation where IWM um, bounced down and bounced back up two days in a row and just kind of parking um, there yesterday, not really feeling the love uh, that we're getting in the other three indexes or shown in the other three indexes just kind of just kind of parked down here resting and you can see if i draw the trend this way we we did break the trend to the downside with a technically a lower high and then we broke down through this price support in the chart and by the way that price support runs all the way back over here and that price support, we're just kind of drifting along sideways right there. there. So it's going to be um, kind of a determination right now. Are we going to poke up there and hold that support? Or will we see some more sellers to drift down below? So keep an eye on IWM. It's not nearly as happy as the other three indexes. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX, as you guys remember, I have been marking it out like this. There's that downtrend in, in play here. And so far we've been able to hold on to that. It would have been really interesting this morning had we not had that calming effect from the president when he came out and said all is okay and no lives were lost. Um, we could have easily spiked way up here in um, the VIX. So far, not the case, and with a flat open, we can probably expect the VIX to open right in this area here. Happening, uh, kind of setting right on this little bit of price support right in here. We're just kind of parking right in, in that area. So right now, fears seem to be tempered. Everything seems to be okay. We're still holding into that downtrend. I think we're okay, and as I've said before, I don't think this gets really critical unless fear spikes up here holds and then we could have some real problems in the market but right now 
a little calm in the market. Um, hopefully it's not the calm before the storm, but a little bit of a calm here before the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Interesting enough, T2122, while um, indexes SPY and QQQ were trying to lift up a little bit yesterday and move higher, T2122 went lower. Now what that tells me is that um, institutions were pushing on specific stocks that the breadth of the market was relatively low yesterday we didn't have a wide push to the upside at all and we saw that in the Dow actually losing um, a little bit of ground yesterday so we didn't get that wide push to the upside and that had that t2122 moving lower you know it's very possible for institutions when we're this close to highs to just push on very specific stocks those heavily weighted stocks and actually break out to new highs while other stocks are still moving sideways or lower so kind of keep that in mind and that's what this sh is showing us just a little bit that we're we're kind of drifting along here in the market with some very key stocks being pushed up and other stocks just kind of drifting along. So if you're finding it difficult to find that good trade that you're hoping for, that might be one of the reasons that even though there's that underlying um, hope that we're going to break through and, and go on home up, there's a lot of stocks that are just kind of drifting along in choppy price patterns. So be careful on how you approach uh, this market, and particularly with the tensions and things going on that we have here. Let's take a look at the economic calendar for today economic calendar has a couple things on it that could move us around a little bit but probably not a whole lot we have adp employment um number today um an 815 uh, obviously that can move the market around but i gotta tell you adp misses the mark so many times um it used to be a really an effective uh, number um, years ago, but it is just not that anymore. It's kind of lost its its uh, mojo here, I guess. And so it can have an effect on the market, but oftentimes not much. Um, we also have a Fed speaker here today that we'll want to make note of. And then we have the EAA Petroleum Status Report today that we'll want to uh, focus on. Obviously, oil prices have been spiking as a result if we continue to see uh, supply uh, deficits here in the U.S. that could raise those prices anymore, uh, even more if uh, we happen to show uh, surpluses, um, which would seem to be unlikely at the moment. Um, then uh, those prices could uh, come back a little bit. So let's watch that close. Um, now, the last few days, we haven't had much for earnings to move the market around, but let's keep in mind that today, we do have some earnings reports that we wanna think about and consider uh, today, STZ. STZ is reporting this morning. Looks like it's gapping up this morning. Um, so we'll want to watch that one pretty closely. And, and one of the things that I'm watching, because I've been watching the CGC stock, CGC has, um, uh, um, STZ has a large stake in, in CGC. And um, I was wondering what that would do to this stock um, in here and you can see this is holding that 50 day moving average in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern waiting for that next bull signal in here to um, possibly add to this trade and as you can see uh, this morning we're getting just a little tiny lift on that good news in STZ so STZ uh, lifting us up here a little bit on that earnings report this morning that's one to keep an eye on um, BBBY um, Bed Bath & Beyond showing a little bit of bullishness um, in this chart. Nice little trend going up, trying to consolidate. It reports today. We'll want to keep an eye on BBBY as well. Lennar, um, in amidst, it's hard to know if um, this bump up this morning is a result of their earnings report already or if this is just the fact that um, um, we have such low prices and stuff in stocks um, that uh, are low prices or low rates that it's already moving things up. But as you can see, I think this is an earnings report and this is moving up in here into some price resistance. So a nice little gap up this morning on Lennar. Um, MSM. 
MSM um, is going to report today. Doesn't look like we have that number on that one. And WBA, those are the not notable reports that I pulled out this morning to um, keep an eye on. It looks like WBA losing some ground this morning um, on that earnings report. So a little bit of back and forth on those reports this morning. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that may be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up. You know, the purpose of these videos is to try and remove that emotion um, that we often get in, in you know, news media you know the dramatic bumper music and all of those kind of things and the things that you might see other places in social media where folks are just really throwing out wild predictions and, and things in the market and I want to look at the technicals and the price action of the chart and see what's going on there and if you find these to be helpful if you could please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment you know um, markets are uh, very emotional because our money to us is very emotional. But if we can remove that emotion and think about this in a business fashion, just looking at those technicals, we can do a much better job with our trading. And if you find that helpful, please feel free to share these videos with any friends, family, share it on social media. And I want to say thank you to everyone that does take the time to do that. You guys are awesome. Um, helping the channel to continue to grow. Thank you very, very much, you guys. Um, yeah, seriously, thank you very much. You, you guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Now, please keep in mind with all of the volatility that we've had here recently, things could be very, very different um, really quickly here. So we'll wanna watch pretty close, closely and carefully on how we deal with um, some of these moves overall. Let's take a look at PLNT, Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness has been moving up here, and you can see we've got this little flat trend, and I had an alert set across in this area, and we've popped through this little tiny wedge pattern, little triangle pattern, trying to move on up. Now, Planet Fitness is one of those companies that can get a benefit from that cyclical um, cycle. Everyone gets through the holidays, and now they want to start thinking about the weight they, that they've gained and getting their summer bodies back and so um, you have fitness companies diet companies things like that starting to work out pretty good so you want to watch um, companies like that during this time of year and planet fitness is showing some good signs here so keep an eye on planet fitness another place you might want to look is you might want to look to some of those oil uh, service companies. Now we've been bouncing around in here the last few days here on Halliburton, but you can see overall technically this is a pretty good looking chart. We broke the downtrend, we're rising up substantially, we broke through some significant levels of resistance in the chart, and now we're just consolidating that. Even though there's a little bit of volatility in here, we're consolidating that move and possibly just over toward the trend. And we'll want to keep an eye on some of these oil sectors stocks because they may have that opportunity to move on higher um, with these tensions in Iran and, and things going on there. Now remember we do have that petroleum status report today that could certainly affect some of these but keep an eye on stocks like that. They may be showing some pretty good signs here uh, to be watching for. Stock that I've been kind of keeping an eye on is Lowe's and I gotta tell you I've been watching this more on a weekly chart. Here's a daily chart and you can see Lowe's holding this nice trend to the upside. This was a incredible important breakout here a big resistance breakout for lows now if I take this over to a weekly chart you can see I have this really beautiful little consolidating pattern over toward the trend so we broke through this major resistance we're resting pulling back holding in here if this can hold up and start moving higher we have a really good opportunity maybe coming up in lows breaking to those brand new highs and these are all-time highs in lows so keep that in mind. Another chart I've been keeping a pretty close eye on, I'm going to show you this a couple of ways, is 3M. 
3M has been, you know, substantially beat up here um, over a period of time. And now what I'm seeing here in 3M is we have this nice little rally going on. And we've been making these sequential breakout little moves and we're consolidating that move right in here any rest that continues to move this over to the trend gives us that opportunity for this to move on higher keep an eye on 3m kind of picking up here and this can be one of those defensive sector um, type stocks because of the nice dividend yield and if the market does get a little bit unstable or concerning um, you might see stocks like this start to pick up as folks start looking for dividend yields to protect themselves in um, in an uncertain market condition so let's keep an eye on um, a stock like that may have something going on there take a look at stocks in that mining area um, Newmont Mining. Newmont Mining has been moving up in this really sharp uptrend. Notice that it, we have consolidated back over here toward that trend. If I pull this back, you'll notice that this is a nice breakout up here, breaking through these resistance levels. So holding on to this trend, what we want to do is we want to be watching for that next opportunity. Now it is entirely possible this has gone a little bit too parabolic and needs a little bit more rest in, in a sideways move. But let's keep an eye on that. Some of those gold uh, mining stocks and things like that might be turning around um, in this market and um, worth keeping an eye on. So I just noticed I am out of time here I want to um, thank everyone for being here today and, and those watching this video I want to thank everyone who clicks those thumbs up buttons leaves the comment thank you for subscribing everyone take care have an awesome awesome day we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning have a good day everyone